Like many others, President Donald Trump joined microblogging site Twitter in 2009 as a platform some regard as a place for posting trivial updates and became a sensation. However, the billionaire businessman didn't leave his tweeting habits after he took office as the 45th president of the United States. President Trump ran his office from the comforts of the site. He trended worldwide on the 30th of May 2017 after he tweeted, quote, despite the negative press, Cove Fefe, which no one knows the meaning till date. Since then, his popularity on the site can be described as meteoric. For the president, he had a secret weapon in his hands that were not codes to the nukes, but an internet-enabled mobile phone from where he fired missiles at enemies and praises on allies that led some to christen him the commander in tweets. He had used Twitter for many years to peddle conspiracy theories to elevate the work of um, his supporters and his favorite platforms over his political uh, uh, rivals or, or perceived, perceived enemies. And it's in that sense, right, that recent actions, especially in the light of the U.S. election results. Not long after he resumed office, President Trump was sued for blocking American citizens from seeing tweets on the official handle of his office, a suit the plaintiffs won. Since then, President Trump has used his personal handle at the real Donald Trump, which has now been suspended. Other big tech companies, Facebook and YouTube, also suspended Mr. Trump from their platforms in the wake of the attacks on the U.S. Capitol. Soon after, tweets he sent from the official handle of the President of the United States were also taken down. You need to understand first how Trump um, was elected into office and the particular base that supported him into office. It is that base of Americans that... Um, that influences how he tweets. With the inauguration of Mr. Biden just a few hours away, opinion is mixed on the penalties imposed on Mr. Trump by the big tech companies. It is, however, not clear if Mr. Biden will be using the platforms as much as his predecessor to pass his message across to Americans and the rest of the world. Victor Mathias, Channels Television News.